Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, April 4th, 2024. May God continue to be with you and may he richly bless you. And may he prosper you and keep you in good health. Our reading today comes to us from Job chapter 2, reading from verse 1 to 6. And it says, Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in all the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and issueth evil? And still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath he will give for his life. But put forth thine hand now, and touch his bones and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word. And we continue with the story of Job. And as we learned in chapter 1, all that Job went through so far, how the devil tried to destroy him. He took away his wealth and took away his family and left him with nothing. And so we are here in chapter 2 and we are going to see what happened next. Now, Satan's first couple of tests fail. Job remains steadfast in his faith in spite of the challenges and the tests that Satan brought him through, trying to turn God against Job or give the impression rather that God is against Job and trying to, to turn Job against God. And now because he failed, Job remained steadfast to his integrity and his faith. He come back again for round two. And so he, he, he realized that he was defeated and that God's word was solid. Now here he's trying to, to pose another challenge. Saying that, okay, well, yeah. When it comes on to his health, I am going to get him there. Because from what I know, a man will give everything to save his own life. And so, okay then. And so the Lord gave him permission once more. And he went out. I want to take some time to focus on verse 4. And I will start out by asking this question. What is it that you are willing to give up in order to save your own life or to get good health? Because here the statement is made that a man will give anything for his life. Are you such a man? Are you such a woman? What it is that you are willing to do in order to get good health or in order to save your life will you give up your relationship with god would you sacrifice you know time with your family would you sacrifice your job your career what would you give up on a relationship what it is that you are willing to, to do spend all that you have the truth is that many in the world today will actually do this thing because if it is one thing that people need in this world or they seek after in this world is to have good health 
and to have long life. It doesn't matter if they are good or they are evil or they are going to use it to do something good or bad. They want to preserve their life and they will try to preserve their life at any expense. And so Satan knew what he was talking about when he phrased that statement. But you see, God knew Job's heart, but he wasn't going to give Satan the secret. He wasn't going to tell Satan that whatever he's doing is just wasting his time. And what I would like to say to you and to say to all of us that Satan don't give up easily. You see that he tested Job harshly and Job remained steadfast and focused and you thought that he would have given up and say he's not going to continue testing Job. But no, he's upset, he's angry because what? Job didn't succumb to his challenge. And so now he's going to retest him, but retest him a different way. And the same way with us, every time you and I go through a trial, keep in mind that Satan don't give up easily. And if he tests you one time, he's going to test you two times, three times, and he's going to keep testing you as long as you live. And especially if you are serving God. And this is a misconception that a lot of people have. That once you become a Christian, your days of trials are over. That's not true. In fact, your trial just begins. Let us understand that this journey of ours, it takes perseverance and it takes faith. But it's not so much about the journey, but it's about the destination. So we have to remain focused. We have to keep our eyes on God. Yes, we will go through the tests and we will go through the trials. But one thing we can count on, God will never leave us alone. And I say amen to that. So don't be discouraged. Keep faithful. If we are faithful, then the Lord promised us that he have a reward for us. Amen. We will get burned sometime, but we will be okay. So, I encourage you this morning, don't give up. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day.